Welcome to Carter's Retro Reviews. Today we'll be reviewing The Incredible Hulk, The Pantheon Saga for the Sega Saturn. Now, I've got a lot of questions here, uh, not necessarily about the game, but Hulk. Like, do you reckon when he goes from Bruce Banner to the Hulk, everything's in uh, proportion, if you get my drift? Because <laughs> I was thinking, like, maybe it's in his wife's best interest to make him go from Bruce Banner. Come on, Bruce, you piece of shit, and then turn him into the Hulk. And then, let's go have some sex, you know. Or maybe they did that once, and it literally tore a new one. Either way, I think, really, every time I think of something like that, it sort of reminds me of that episode of The Simpsons, this one. We've been together a long time now. When are we gonna, you know... So, I just need a few more yoga classes. There's a hypothesis called the Just World Fallacy where there's this belief that human actions eventually yield morally fair and fitting consequences. What the fuck did I do to deserve this fucking piece of shit? It goes on to say that noble actions are duly rewarded and evil actions are duly punished. So I must have fucking done some serious shit in a previous life if such a thing were true. Maybe in an alternative universe that's happening at the same time as ours, I was the equivalent or somehow worse to Hitler. And I came into this universe on the back foot, and the only thing to make things right again was to play this game. Now, say tell me in your next movie, we get to see your butt. <laughs> yes, uh, yes you do. Can, can we see it right now? Mm. Well, uh, <laughs> alright Hitler. Oh, oh, he's going to do it! If you're going to be in the Los Angeles area and would like tickets to Hitler, call 213. I saw Marvel at the start of this game, and in my head I thought everything was going to be fine. Little did I know that a mere two minutes from that very same time was I going to experience very few could replicate. To put it into metaphors you'll be able to identify with, it was like dying from peritonitis after Satan's 14 inch wide cock had finished slamming my butthole. Now, I like the Hulk. It was made by Eidos or Edos or whatever the fuck they're called, who are well known for the Tomb Raider series. They're also a subsidiary of Square Enix and they released the excellent Richard Burns Rally. But who cares, right? I mean, I'll like their other games, and that in turn will give good reviews for those games. But there's no fucking excuse to release this shit. Well, actually, no. Edos or Eidos were the publishers. The developers were Silicon Dream Studio, where dreams go to die. What did they do? Well... Presentation is bad. One of the very few games where even if the game was amazing or dog shit, the presentation is usually at the very least practical. And while I can navigate through the menu, it looks like total dog's bollocks and gives a real dodgy vibe. But before we even get to the menu, there's an intro video that makes the 2003 Hulk movie look like a fucking masterpiece. In-game presentation is sloppy and looks bad. I don't really have specifics apart from the score, health bar, some other bar just below it, and some shit down in the bottom right hand corner like any of it matters, was even designed by some guy who just learnt how to use MS Paint. It's almost like the person who's made the artistic decisions wasn't anyone of any artistic credit, but rather an executive with too much power and say over the game, who has no idea on what makes a good game look great. The whole thing comes across drab and uninspired at best. Graphics are really bad. I can hit a wall and it breaks off, but nothing happens to the wall. And that little green glob is supposed to represent the Hulk. Don't you mean Bruce Banner? Oh, wait, you do mean the Hulk. That's not good. It completely understates his power. He's not going to go around destroying gods or massive machines from another realm or anything. He's beating up R2-D2. The texture in, well, everything is bad. The detail is super poor, and everything at best is bland. There is also choppy animation and frame rate issues. Like it runs at a few noticeable frames below what it should, so it looks worse than it is. Sound is some generic rock track which is worse than a Nickelback marathon. And I fucking hate Nickelback. Well, okay, that's not true. Nothing's that bad. But it's a garbage soundtrack, and the sound effects are lame. <coughs> Gameplay is bad decision after bad decision. I can break certain boxes. I'm the fucking Hulk, I should be able to break anything. Why are you making this into a puzzle kind of platformer? 
It's the fucking Hulk. I get that the movie The Avengers hadn't been out to see the true vision for the character, but even by this stage you should get the basic understanding that when he turns into the Hulk, it's pure destruction and not just trying to work out how to stack fucking boxes or go from one end of the level to come all the fucking way back. Stage design is piss poor and just plain boring. If you think at this stage I'm being too mean, play the game for an hour and then tell me if I'm being too mean then. This is easily one of the worst games I've played on the console and that speaks in volumes. What should be one of the best beat em ups is this embarrassment. Controls are average, but who cares when the gameplay is this tedious? <coughs> Replay value is non-existent. Single player is a drag, there's no two player, and no extra modes. Would I recommend this game? No. I've seen indie side projects done by a single guy in his spare time who doesn't seem to have a firm grasp on what makes a good game nor really any amazing programming talents, and yet, he would be able to make a better Hulk game. It'd probably have those 8-bit graphics, they seem to be easy to make and are a popular throwback to yesteryear. No one recreates crap like this.